After riding the yellow school buses, making the way to the stadium via the Eagle Walk, and pouring Eagle Creek water on the turf at Paulson Stadium, Georgia Southern's players and coaches take an opportunity to headbutt the man who restarted Eagle football, the bust of former head coach, Irk Russell. Headbutting Irk, it's almost like connecting, I guess, in like a, in like a spiritual way, a football spiritual way, I guess, like the football guys or whatever. And um, just letting them, just, I guess the headbutt is like uh, symbolizing Thank, thank you for all you've done for this, this program and, and whatnot in uh, this university. And uh, just every time we head, but it's just a, it's a symbolization of, of thank you. Yeah, as a kid growing up, um, I saw him wearing that red and, um, and black up the road there for the University of Georgia and uh, being the defensive coordinator and, and just watching him and blood running down his, his face those days. And then when he came to Georgia Southern, and um, I never got to experience until we were playing um, Western Kentucky one day and um, those guys were huge and the night before we went to the movie and that's what we always did the night before the game and went to the movie and a bunch of their players were there at the at the um, movie theater we pulled up on our, our bus up in Kentucky and they were all laughing at us and come up they thought we played play for some high school and then um, and then they said um, Kojak and uh, called coach Russell Kojak and um, is, is y'all's coach and they started making funny and coach Russell never let it bother me because boys they, they said we just were a bunch of high schoolers from from Georgia and uh, that'll be okay so let's go on and watch the movie so we did the next day uh, we were warming up and and he's always been that defensive guy and I was so fortunate to play defensive line and coach Russell came down to our corner of the, uh, the end zone warming up and uh, we, do, we always did the circle butt drill and the circle butt drill is um, players in the middle and, and he, you know that player in the middle would call one player out and, and hit him the second player out hit him and third player out and take him out of the, out of the circle here come coach Russell wagging he called it wagging not not running not jogging he's wagging over here to us and he split split the circle he walked in he goes boys he goes my my wife told me that uh, she was gonna miss me if I ever did this again and, uh, and she wasn't gonna have it she didn't want me to do this anymore but uh they don't think we're capable we come up here to take care of business and let's take care of business and he and he happened to call me out I happened to be in the middle of the circle at the time he called me and I had this flash in my eyes saying Oh my gosh, there's that man, you know, that he, he wants to headbutt me. This is how, this how it happened. It's coming, it's coming. And Coach Russell pointed me out, and I came over there kind of timidly walking in there. He, and he hit me, and he back up, and I hit me again, come at me. He did, and he, I mean, this guy came out of his shoes and hit me, boom, right in the face mask. He called the next one, boom, hit him in the face mask. And the third one, he took him out. Now let's get ready. And everybody's just going crazy. And Coach Russell was just, and blood started dripping down his face. That's the first time I got to live that, that moment. I got cold chills now thinking about it. And he just kept going. And it just put us on a different high that day. And, and we had no business beating those guys. We had no business really beating a lot of people if you looked at us on paper. But uh, we came together. We were a team. this big team, little me. And um, we took care of business that day. And um, we, we beat Western Kentucky uh, very well that day. And we had an awesome day. You know, every day is a great day to be an Eagle, but that day was very special. And um, that was the first time I got to witness the headbutting. And um, it was just amazing. So now um, it was a, a history that he had for many years ago. And, and now we were, um, it's fortunate for us to be able to watch kids kind of take that on. And the bus is a, a symbol forever. Me personally, like when we do practice out here on the field, I always kind of just touch his head and just wipe it on my chest. I feel like it's, I don't know, I just feel like it just do some good to me on the inside and then just head button on before the game. And it's just, it's just that adrenaline, that, that extra adrenaline that just gets flowing throughout your body.